Hi, Keith from My Point Exactly here. You know, Streets and Trips gives you a great deal of flexibility in customizing your map to make it your own. One way to do this is to import your own pushpin symbols. You can create your own pushpins in your favorite image editor. However, they can't exceed 128 by 128 pixels. They must have a color depth of 16 or 24 bits, and they must be saved in either an uncompressed Windows bitmap, Windows icon, or a Windows cursor file format. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to get custom pushpins from our website, so don't worry if you're not ready to create your own from scratch yet. Once you've created your pushpins, open up Streets and Trips or Map Point. This process is exactly the same for both programs. I'm working with Streets and Trips for this video. Click on the down arrow on the Create a Pushpin icon on the menu bar. Now click on Import Custom Symbol. Navigate to where you stored your created pushpins. Click on the one you want and click Open. Now you see your pushpin at the top of the list for those available. Click on it just like you would any other pushpin and place it on your map. Sometimes I want to highlight a location on the map that is easily viewed from all altitudes. This is an example of a 50 by 50 pixel pin that I've created for just that purpose. It's great for differentiating a location amidst a sea of prospects. That said, it's important to know that your pushpins will show behind the standard pushpins that came with Streets and Trips. So if you've got a very busy map, you may need to zoom in a bit to see your pushpin. But because it's bigger than the rest, it's pretty easy to find. If you want to delete your custom pushpins, click on the down arrow again, right click on the pin, and choose Delete. But before I do, see that I can rename this pushpin here, and also see that you can turn off transparency, which is on by default when you load your pins. And that's how you import custom pushpins. If you want them available the next time you're plotting points, make sure you save your map and use it the next time you work. For more information on creating your own custom pushpins, type Create a Custom Symbol in the search box on the Index tab in Streets and Trips Help, and then double click. There you'll see the color palette that is used by Streets and Trips, and you'll want to stick to this palette for best results. If you like the large pushpin I imported here, you can download it and many more when you sign up for our free training at MyPointSales.com. Hey, thanks for watching this tutorial. Remember to sign up for our free training at MyPointSales.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified of our next new videos.